Our Lord said that the gates of hell shall not prevail. We take that to mean that if we hide and if we protect our children, and we should protect our children, and we isolate ourselves from the culture, that maybe we can keep hell out. That's not what our Lord meant. When he said that the gates of hell shall not prevail against us, he meant that the gates of hell shall not prevail against us when we enter hell and by the power of the Holy Spirit, where there's darkness, we bring the light of Christ. Where there's sadness, we bring the joy of Christ. Where there is despair, we bring hope. But if we're honest with ourselves, the Holy Spirit's not doing that in many of our lives. The gates of hell are actually prevailing against us. We're being overrun by a pagan culture and even our faithful children are being lost. What can we do to stop this? St. Dominic was one of the greatest preachers who ever lived and he had this same question because his preaching was extraordinary. Our preaching isn't that great. His preaching It'd burn your heart when you heard him. And even he was ineffective. So he asked our Lord and our Lady, what can I do? I need a tool that can help me to go from victory to victory. I need a tool that will call down the mercy of God that the Holy Spirit would do what our Lord promised, that the Holy Spirit would renew the face of the earth. I need something. So he offered himself to the Virgin Mary as a victim soul. He took the discipline. He fasted. He did not sleep until the point where he fainted. And the Virgin Mary appeared to him and said to him, Dominic, my well-beloved son, because of your faithfulness, I will give you what you've been asking for. In this type of warfare, pay attention, the type of warfare she's discussing is the type of warfare we are going through right now. If you want to win, pay very close attention. In this type of warfare, the battering ram has been and always will be the angelic salutation. How do you break into the gates of hell? How do you bring hope when there's no hope? How do you bring Jesus when nobody wants to receive Jesus? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. That's the battering ram. When there's walls in our family where people don't want to live the faith, people don't want to hear the faith, what do you do? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Why are those words so important? Because there was no hope. Nobody went to heaven before those words were said. And when those words penetrated this world, the world that is dominated by Satan, there was no victory in Christ prior to this. Those words, Hail Mary, full of grace, they brought light into the darkness. With those words came down the power of the Holy Spirit. With those words came the Virgin Mary. With Mary and the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ came into the world. But that's not all she said. She said the angelic salutation has been is now and forever will be the battering ram. And then this is critically, critically, critically important. What did she finish by saying? Preach my Psalter. Preach my Psalter. You gotta preach it. You gotta promote it. You say, my priest isn't doing it. You do it. How? I can't preach. I'm not a promoter. Join CCE. Be a catechist. Share videos. Make posts. Preach it. Preach what? My Psalter. Keyword Psalter. We are fighting with children's weapons right now. What did Mary mean, my Psalter? There are 150 Psalms. She meant that there are 150 beads. She wants us to preach the version of her Psalter, the version of the rosary, a term that we get later in history, a version of the rosary that is not just five decades, but that is five decades in the morning, five decades during the day, and five decades in the evening, so that she can enter into our lives the entire day. The battering ram, you gotta hit the gates of hell more than 50 times. You hit it 150, and miracles of grace will rain down upon you. You will see the hand of God. You will see the hand of your mother. You will experience a consolation of the Holy Spirit, and you will see Satan run. Run for the hills, because you've broke down his strongholds. Preach my Psalter. Are you afraid that the culture is going to take your children? I don't care how bad the culture is. The devil is not as powerful as he seems. Hearts were made for God. And Our Lady can bring Jesus Christ. All she needs is a hole in the wall of hell. And you break that hole by preaching her Psalter and by saying over and over again, Hail Mary, 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 Hail Mary. Now let me tell you a quick story. The rosary was preached by St. Dominic and there was fruits all over the land. But 
it fell out of practice. Once you begin preaching the rosary, once you begin praying the rosary, the devil's only goal is to get you to stop. And slowly, after the death of St. Dominic, it stopped being preached. Then there was a man named Alan. He was a Dominican. He's now Blessed Alan. He was offering the holy sacrifice of the Mass. During the Mass, he was very intensely praying, said the words of consecration. He lifted up the host. While he was lifting up our Lord, our Lord stopped him, stopped time, stopped everything, got his attention and said to him, Alan, Alan, why are you persecuting me? You have crucified me again. Wow, Lord, what do you mean I've crucified you again? You crucified me the first time with your sins, and now you crucify me again because of the sins of your people. Your people are going to hell, and you, Alan, have the ability to save them, but you do not. You have the ability to save them because you have the ability to preach Mary's Psalter. You have the ability to promote the Rosary. Our Lord is in effect saying to Alan, you have the obligation to promote the Holy Rosary. If you don't know how to promote the Holy Rosary, look up videos. I will link videos on all the benefits of the Rosary. How would you convince me to do something? You talk to me about the fruits of it, the benefits of it. Wow, I'll do any what if I have a good why. Emphasize the why on the rosary. In their personal lives, people are selfish, and Our Lady is a good mother, and so she gives people what they want to get them started, to purify their intentions. So learn about the rosary, promote the rosary. St. Louis de Montfort said this, you will do more good with a sermon on the rosary than 10 years of sermons on any other topic. Some people want to preach thunderously against various vices, but you make little progress because first you have to instill in a soul a love for prayer. Preach Mary's Psalter, promote the rosary, share this video, talk about the rosary, hand out rosaries. The Hail Mary is the prayer that the devil cannot prevail against. Our Lady alone has the promise from God to crush the head of the serpent. When you promote the rosary, when you pray the rosary, when you die to yourself, Our Lady lives in you. And what does Our Lady always do? She always brings her spouse, the Holy Spirit. She always brings Jesus Christ into the lives of those people where she's at. God bless you. God love you. And I'll see you very soon.